So today I'm going to show you how to set up an OCO order, which stands for one cancels other, and it allows you to set up a stop loss and a profit target all in the same order. So if you look at this chart, this is SPY. Um, it had been going up all day this day, and one might think it might continue to go up. So let's say we buy a 417 call, right? So if we go to trade, and let's do the weekly expiration for the sake of this example. And we're going to go down to 417. And you want to right click and click on buy custom and then with OCO bracket. So here is where you edit your quantity. I'm going to leave it at 10. Um, and then you want to make sure that you're obviously on the right ticker. Um, your expiration and your strike are all correct and that you're buying a call and not a put. And the price is the most important part. Here is the price that you're going to pay. So you're going to have one buy order and two sell orders. The first sell order is your profit target and the second sell order is your stop loss. So we're going to pay the ask, which is 103, um, just so we get filled right away. Usually when I'm live trading, I will pay the bid, but for the sake of this example, we're going to pay the ask. And then let's say we want to set our profit target at 100%, which would be 206. So we're going to change that to 206. And then let's have our stop loss at, let's say, 88 cents. So that means if this trade goes against us, we want to get stopped out at 88 cents. So let's hit confirm and send. And now we're going to go back to our chart. And you can see that we have a profit target and a stop loss. So if I hit play and let this trade play out, we'll see what happens. And you can see that fast, the trade just went against us. So if we go to monitor, we can see where we got filled. So filled orders, if you, you can see we got filled at 88. And then our canceled order, which was our profit target, has been canceled. So one cancels other, it canceled our profit target. Okay, so now that we know that that trade is going to go bad, we know that the market dropped right here. Let's change the time back to 0, 0. And let's do the opposite. So let's buy a put. So let's go to buy custom with OCO bracket. We're going to buy 10. The ask is 92. We're going to pay the ask. We get filled right away. You can always pay the bid if you'd like. Usually when I'm live trading, I shoot for the bid because it's cheaper. Um, and let's say we want to sell. If you want to sell at 90, if you want to sell at 100%, you could just multiply by two. But let's say two dollars because we just saw a big red candle, right? So let's, let's sell at $2. And then let's just say our stop loss is at um, 70 cents, right? Now we know this is going to get filled because we just watched it, but this is so you can see that it will fill our limit order. So let's go ahead and hit play and watch the trade play out. Order just fill. So now we're going to go back to our monitor tab. Let's look at our filled orders. So our set 416 put, we bought 10 at 92 cents and we sold 10 at 208 and our limit was at $2. So it, it moved so fast it sold higher than our limit, which Thinkorswim is really good about that. Sometimes you can get filled for more than what you want and that's nice because that's more money. So next I'm going to show you how to do this on the mobile version of Thinkorswim. So the first thing you want to do is search for the ticker that you're looking for. So in this case we're going to go with SPY and we're going to look at the 418 call. So let's click on that and then where it says TIF, I didn't mention this earlier in the video, but where it says day, if you're doing a longer OCO order, so say for a swing position, you want to change that to GTC, which means good till canceled. So in other words, it won't expire at the end of the day. So now we're going to go down and click create advanced order. Now we're going to click add order in this box on the left. And here 
We're gonna change the limit to stop. And let's change this to 21. So we're gonna have a stop loss at 50%. And then we're gonna go back to group. And we're gonna hit add another order on the right. And we're gonna change this to 84. And that would give us a target of 100%. And then we're gonna change this to good till canceled. We're gonna go back to group. We're gonna make sure this one says good till canceled too. Now they all should say good till canceled and have the correct limit prices. And then you just wanna hit confirm. So now you see we have one order to buy 10 SPY 418 calls expiring April 26th at 42 cents, good till canceled. And then we have a profit target to sell SPY 418 calls at 84 cents, good till canceled. And we have a stop loss to sell SPY 418 calls at 21 cents, good till canceled. And then you just wanna hit paper trade. If you're live trading, you wanna hit trade. And the market's not open right now, so these will not execute, but you will see that this is working. And once the buy order is complete, the other two sell orders will still be waiting and they will fill, one or the other will fill uh, when this is complete.